fuel scooping. Yeah, my wife and I, we we both we're, right now we're on the Apple train. We use Apple devices. I got Fuel we both have iPhones. I have an iPad. We were on Android for a while, but for reasons other than privacy, we decided to switch back. Other than privacy. And again, there's, there's stuff that we're told and stuff that the settings tell us that is happening. And then there's things that are we're not being told. And you don't find out about it until after the fact. And, and I'd like to think that Google and Facebook are the only ones doing it. But I'm just going to assume that that's not the case. Because there's money involved. And there's going to be somebody that... Fuel scooping complete. Because, I mean, I used to, you know, part of my professional career was like a lot of security software. And, you know, we had, there was a lot of data, pun intended. And just like a lot of, a majority of data breaches originate from the inside the company. So, yeah, you can be told that your data is being protected, blah, 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 blah. All it takes is one or two people inside the company. And your data is out there. Independent of what we're being told. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, and Twitch is getting up top. Boy, if you if you guys haven't noticed, if you look at Twitch, like the whole the whole data, smart data, AI stuff, everything is now targeted. Like, look at Twitch logged in and then go to an incognito and tell me what the experiences are, or how they differ, because they re they track a lot of crap now. Like, my ghostery goes nuts now with Twitch, and, like, I have a bunch of tracking blocking stuff, and it just goes crazy on Twitch. It's just like, and you can't stop it on mobile. This is how they get you, because there's, there's, there's not a lot of tracking blocking software on here. So you watch Twitch on mobile, they got you. They got your data. It's really, really big on Twitch now. now I'm starting to wonder when they're going to be the next Facebook in the media. This and, and here's another thing. Remember our private messages Four, on Twitch? Y'all got y'all y'all remember two, that the, the private messages? One, engage. And that data breach where people went to download messages and it had other people's messages in the data. And they just glossed over that? They just glossed over that data breach. It's just like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, your messages may have been sent to someone else. Our bad. Sorry about that. See you tomorrow. Fuel scoop disengaged. <laughs> oh man yeah I guess the I, I mean if I had a child and I had to teach him about online safety I would just basically say just be careful what you put online assume that what you put online everybody can see engage that's like a golden rule assume everything you put online including cloud saves including any devices connected to cloud, including live streams, chat, assume that everybody can see what you're doing. Everybody. And if you have that going in the back of your head and you can conduct yourself accordingly, generally you should be okay. Fuel scooping. So if you go in the chat room, if you use a chat program that destroys messages, but you assume that it didn't destroy it, you know, you're generally going to be okay. Fuel scooping complete. So when that stuff does come out, you go, ooh, I'm glad I listened, you know. It's almost like the rule of don't use passwords, the same two passwords in two different places. It's the same kind of rule, man. It's like there's password breaches every week. So if you use passwords in two different places, somebody's going to find that out. And that's why two factors a thing, man.
So yeah, it's uh it's the digital age. Privacy and security. I remember I, I, I was part of it. I remember when this stuff was first going mainstream and eighty to ninety percent of people were against it. They're like, I don't want my data out there. I don't want you to have my data. Why are you storing my history? Why are you storing my cookie data? You know, people were all against it. We had the uh, what's the, the the software foundation people, the ESF, uh, not ESF, the the privacy foundation people. You know, they were formed because of that stuff, and everybody was against it. And it just slowly over time, through the battle of attrition, people just got worn down. Google came in, offered all these conveniences, and people just they just gave in. Fuel scoop disengaged. EFF, thank you. Yeah, EFF. Electronic Frontier Frontier Foundation. You know, and Google came in with all these conveniences. I blame Google, I'm seriously, because Google shifted everything. Because it did a lot of things right. And people said, I don't care what you do with my data. And Google had this policy that they had this policy of don't be evil. And they were using like Microsoft and other companies that were caught with their hands in the cookie jar as scapegoats. And they're saying, we're not going to do this stuff that these other companies did. And their motto was, don't Four, be evil. Three, two, one, engage. My have times changed. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how times have changed, isn't it? It's like Microsoft is now on the side of we're we're protecting your data we're trying to protect your privacy we're not going to sell your data and google's the one going fuel scooping hey won't you go check out our new phone fuel scooping complete and now google's really pushing their chromebooks too they're they're going after microsoft i saw some ads the other day that I was forced to thanks hulu you know, you pay for no ads on Hulu and they still show you ads. It's the biggest scam on earth. I don't know how they're getting away with it. Um, oh, I saw the story about uh, the banks were getting data on your swipe patterns. Because the phone stores how you swipe and how you tap. And that data was being sold to banks. Oh, but it's anonymous. Yeah, all right. Fuel scooping. Just go. Uh... And now they got Fuel these scooping. phones that have biometric stuff on them or bio storage device. Heck no, you're not getting my fingerprint. We had a data breach on our devices. Uh, we were supposed to encrypt our fingerprints data uh, locally, and we weren't supposed to upload it. That was part of the design. We had a, an incident where uh, the data somehow was moved to a location on the phone, which was unencrypted by a local worm that originated internally. And we had some of our customers' data. We estimate a small percentage of our customer data was compromised. We didn't lose any credit card data. There was nothing financial. We lost some names and addresses some phone numbers and some fingerprints and what we're going to do is that we're going to offer you all a free service where we'll monitor your biometric data and if it's used anywhere else we'll take care of it for free jump shiny Ryan JC using way too many napkins. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. I'm the happiest okay. pessimist you'll find on the planet. Suggestions for webmail. Uh, there, uh, DuckDuckGo had a good article. Uh, DuckDuckGo had a great article on that. I'm going to have to look it up for you because they, they put out some great stuff about what they believe are some of the better sites. They're not saying they're foolproof or anything. Um, and there was one webmail that they recommended. I don't remember what it was. Uh, let's see. Fuel scoop wow, someone is sensitive. Uh, 
Y'all using way too many napkins. Uh, the article from 2017. Fast mail. I think it's one. I've heard fast mail being mentioned before because it uses PGP. Proton mail. I've heard of that. Yeah, proton mail. Fast mail. I never heard of this. Tutanota. What is that? Yeah, Proton Mail might be the one you might want to go with. They got some good apps. I don't know if they have. They do. They do. Okay, they do have an iOS app. They have a web version. Um, I haven't heard of any incidents with Proton Mail lately, but this is set. This is 20, 2017 uh, data. Cause y'all using way too many napkins. Yeah, I'm a big fan of DuckDuckGo. Big fan. Huge fan! Because <laughs> they're using way too many napkins over there at Google. Jump. Acknowledged, Commander. Yeah, but guys, I, I may sound like I'm, I'm miserable, but I, I just I just look at life from a realistic perspective and I try to mitigate it as much as possible. Because if you, you can be really miserable if you just worry about this stuff 24 seven. You just have to live by a set of rules and just try to stick to them as best as possible. And just know that, that there's stuff that they're not telling you. This <laughs> is just... That's like a life rule. Nobody gives you the full story, man. There, always somebody hides something. It's like you gotta look at them like Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, an Inception. You gotta be like, you gotta do like that Monk of Hume emote. That Monk of Hume, be like. Warning, temperature critical. Oh, I'm gonna burn it up. Hey, Sink Xavier, how you doing, man? What's your opinion on blockchain technology? I don't even know what it is. Can someone explain to me what it is? Is it I is it IoT? Is it is it is it microservices? What what is blockchain other than a marketing term? What is it? I I it's so it's the, I just heard all of a sudden this term came up, and from what I I looked it up for like a good six minutes less than that, and I was like, so they just combine everything into one term. Engage. Everything distributed into one term. Is that what it is? Is it like distributed services? Trying to set up your Twitch stream? Have you? I've been good, man. I've been good. Been doing this Twitch grind myself. What is blockchain? Can someone explain it to me? Well, like I'm a five-year-old. Because I really think it's one of those marketing things that they themselves don't understand, but they, they talk about all the time. Yeah, use the blockchain. Mm hmm. You having problems with your database? Blockchain it. Yeah. Your vending machine went out at your work? You need to install a blockchain on it. You get a new bike? I hope you put a blockchain on it. Oh, don't buy the jewelry from there. You need to go up there and buy a blockchain. Jump. My eye, Commander. Distributed services plus a trustless DB plus self-correcting DB. Four, three. That sounds like everything. One, engage. I used to call it service-oriented architecture, like SOA stuff. Distributed services, no central anything. Everything is distributed.
I mean, some of the stuff you're naming are cat were characteristics of them, but it looks like they just segmented it off and just called it blockchain. I don't know. Maybe it's a trend of integration standards. I guess that's the that's the way I can look at it. It's like it's a, some kind of a standard that everybody's agreeing to, because this whole distributed thing it was like the wild wild west. You know, it's like you pick a language and. Essentially, to integrate, you would have to write something to talk to each other. And if people wise up, it's like, let's stick to a standard. Let's go RESTful. Let's go this. Let's go that. You know, for web stuff. I'm not talking about IoT. Uh, let's stick to a standard. And I don't know. I mean, this stuff's been around for I don't know how long. It's just been called different things. So. I think I really think blockchain is like the what was the other marketing term? Big data. That was another big that was that big data was a big term. There was big data, blockchain. If you're in development, software development, agile. <laughs> oh yeah, cloud. Oh man. So many buzzwords to get you to spend money on stuff. I used to consult with a lot of this stuff, man. It came down to people. It always came down to people. It wasn't processes. It was always the people. Processes helped, but it was a people. Uh, we had some weird adverse in TV. You were doing World Cup advertising. They wanted to use blockchain to change people's lives. The company that... It's, it's this pie-in-the-sky stuff, man. Big Data's my new gangster name. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yo, who is that? That's big data. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Now playing not set. Shut up, girl. Three, two, one. Engage. <laughs> but I, I mean, I'm not saying block uh, blockchain is is not useful. I'm just it's it's a label for something I don't quite identify with. I've been out of the game for almost two years. Actually, September of this month, I'll be out of the game, per se, for two years. So, all this new buzzword stuff, I'm just not up to date on. I, that was my world for, for 10 plus years, but I got laid off September 2017, or 16, I'm sorry, 2016. I just, I just haven't been in that world. I did some consulting a little bit the first year, but... Um, I'm just out of the loop. Some of the same problems are still there, though. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Wait, a transaction is written on a piece of paper. This piece of paper is then added to a binder filled with other pieces of paper. The binder is the blockchain. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. The internet is made of bunches of ones and zeros, and they drive big, big tubes. They got these big tubes, and, it, and you can imagine big dump trucks. You take the dump trucks, and you move data, and it gets clogged up, and you blockchain it. It's equivalent to that explanation of the internet. The binder is the blockchain, and you've got transactions... I mean, you could call that a queue. Who's ever dealt with Java queuing? That sounds like a queue. How could you just gonna, you just gonna take a queue and call it a blockchain? It's like asynchronous link lists, all this stuff, all these different things where you take data it could be a freaking pointer. I don't know what it, it could be. Something as simple as an array. It could be a piece of paper. And you're just gonna call it a blockchain. I'm hoping there's a standard to it. Okay. If they if they slap a standard on it, right? If they slap a standard on it, and people are agreeing to doing these binders using similar protocols and techniques, I'm all for renaming it. 
engaged. But if you're just gonna take everything out there that uses God knows what language, what language, and just what protocol and what standard, and you're just gonna say if you take that data and you combine it together with something else, then it's a blockchain. <laughs> That's so weird, man. That's so weird. I think they're keeping it vague for a reason. I gotta look more into it, though. I I, I really need to understand what blockchain is because it's all over the place. And if I'm gonna have an intelligent conversation with anybody about tech today, and they mention blockchain, I gotta understand what they're talking about. Um. Uh, yeah, let me permit you. It's a linked list of transactions. <laughs> it's a queue. Four, three, two, one, engage. I mean, anybody ever use JMS in their, in their, in their tech career? Anybody use JMS at all? Java messaging service. It was, it's very, it was very common. I don't know if it's still being used today. It just reminds me of a standard Java queue. It just, that's what you do. You slap these messages. It could be transactions. They could be data. They could be blobs. It can be anything. You black box the whole thing. You don't care what it is. You just care about the size of it. And you just slap this up there. And then if somebody wants to grab it, it's like a bulletin board. If somebody wants to grab it, you can grab it. It's like a binder. You can take a page out of the book if you want. Um. That's what it sounds like to me. And it just looks like a rebranding of it. It is the brainchild of a person or group of people known by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Are you Four, kidding me? Three, two, one, engage. They don't even know who made it. What? My longest boy, boy ever dot wav. Boy 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 Buna boy. Thank you, Pac, for the Buena Boys. Everybody show Pac some love in the chat. Um, Fuel so, they don't even know who did it, according to this article. It says it was made by a person or a group of people go, that go by a pseudonym. So was it aliens? Fuel scoop disengaged. I'm going to go with aliens. But since then, it has evolved to something greater. Allowing digital information to be distributed, but not copied. You know what? Now that I'm reading this, I think they just wanted a marketing name for Bitcoin. But they didn't want to call it Bitcoin because it's a, it's a it's a curse word in the households of politicians. I really think this is a roundabout way of describing digital currency. Now that I'm reading this, it makes sense. Yeah, that's what it is. I get it. I got it. I don't need to read anything else. I, I completely understand it now. I got it down. That 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 just that just that was two plus two for me, because I was thinking about it programmatically. I was thinking about it logically, and that's the wrong way to go. This is, this is for, for lack of a better word, it's an agenda. <laughs> for lack of a better word, and it's smart. I think it's smart because again, Bitcoin, it is an is 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 taboo. The politicians hate the word. I mean, it's like is it. Bankers go crazy when they talk about Bitcoin. They hate it. So they call it blockchain. Just call it blockchain. They'll be like, oh, okay. You're not talking about Bitcoin. You're talking about blockchain. Oh, I was worried there for a second. <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> I, that, makes, that makes sense. I'm not. I'm not saying they're stupid for doing this. It's. It's. It's obviously. 
I'm not going to say obviously because it's not obvious, but it seems to be a way to just get digital currency to be accepted. Four, three, two, one. You put a marketing buzzword about it. I mean, look at big data. If you if you understood what went behind big data, you probably wouldn't back it. Because that's what Facebook was doing. It was all about getting that data, putting some business rules on it, putting some logic to it, and making some sense out of it to create heuristics so that you could do some cool things like create targeted ads. That was just one part of big data. But you had this these these mountains of data that was being collected and there was so much you could do with it and sell it. Fuel scooping complete. That's exactly what they're complaining about right now. But back then it was just all oh, big data. Big data is all about data. That's big. <laughs> you don't hear nobody talk about big data today. Oh no, 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 there's no big data talk today. Yeah, it's digital currency. It's basically digital currency. They're explaining the technology behind digital currency and they're calling it blockchain. But if you break it down, it's what we've been using for years. It's just more secure. To, to, to word it the way they did, to say, we're, we're, <laughs> we're moving data on the internet, not allowing it to be copied. That's called security. That's called secure data. If nobody can copy my data, that's called secure data. They've been using way too many napkins. I mean, that's why I laughed at that. I'm like, data can't be, this data can't be copied. I'm like, wait a minute, isn't that just secure data? Because uh, that's why we have tunnels. That's why we have, you know, that's why we have, uh, what you call it? HTTPS. That's why we have secure shell. We don't want the data to be copied. We 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 we're, we're protecting the data. Four, three, two, one. Engage. So it, it's just funny that they described it that way. But I get it. I get it now. I get it. I can I can I can explain Bitcoin. Or I'm sorry. I can explain uh, blockchain to somebody else. And I'm not going to use a binder to describe it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna use the truck analogy. I'm gonna say blockchain is an armored truck that takes your money from your bank or from the store <laughs> to your bank or from the ATM that you deposit in your ATM to your bank. Blockchain are the armored trucks and the guards to make sure that nobody can take your bitcoins. I mean, I mean. Your data, your 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 transactions. Can't say Bitcoin. How many more jumps? Too many napkins. Eighteen. And they keep track of every piece of data that entered the armor truck and where it went. It's a clipboard. It's a ledger. The bags have probably have ID tags. They have exactly what's in them. If they're good. Fuels. I mean, it, it, it makes sense. I understand it now. It's, it's less... It's less vague now. Because I see why they're doing it. It wasn't it, the what was confusing me. It's the why that clarified it for me. And nobody ever mentioned Bitcoin to me before when I talked about it. And when they, when I read that in that one article about how it was originally conceived, I think the wording was originally conceived for three for Bitcoin. Two, one, engage. It it, it clicked. And, uh, yeah, exactly, Lord Nargul. Bit, uh, Bitcoin and digital current, just digital currency in itself, shakes up the the traditional pillars 